Hey guys, welcome back to the Prime Investor channel and we are back here with another hot crypto project. Today, in this video, we will check out IO.net. Before we start, a small disclaimer. This is not going to be any investment advice. My job is to find out the most trusted and reliable projects for you. Please do your own research before investing into any project. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. So now, let's jump into the video. So, I've been hearing a lot of buzz about IO.net. So in today's video, I want to do a deep dive to see what all the hype is about. Is there a lot of substance behind this project? And then lay out the information of the project and the facts. So that that way you can actually make a decision for yourself, whether it is all hype or this is a great project. So here is the website, guys. IO.net, the Internet of GPUs, is finally here. So first of all, what is IO.net? In a very simple terms, IO.net is a decentralized cloud GPU network. They are doing to the AI compute markets what Airbnb and Uber did to the lodging and private transportation businesses, allowing dormant supply of goods to be utilized by consumers. That means if you own GPUs that aren't being used, then they provide a marketplace for people to utilize their compute. IONET is a DPIN or decentralized physical infrastructure project based on Solana blockchain which makes computing more scalable, accessible, and efficient. They aim to create the largest network of geo-distributed GPUs. IONET allows machine learning engineers to access scalable distributed compute clusters at a fraction of the cost of comparable centralized services. IONET is giving instant and permissionless access to the internet of GPUs with industry-breaking prices. It is better, faster, and cheaper. IONET is uniquely capable of creating clusters of tens of thousands of GPUs, whether they are co-located or geo-distributed. IONET is the only GPU network that enables clustering or grouping GPUs from different locations. IONET aggregates GPUs from data centers, crypto miners, gamers, and decentralized storage providers to offer cost-efficient GPU computing power for AI ML teams. It allows users to leverage spare GPU capacity to run parallel training, hyperparameter tuning, interference, and other AI workloads across a distributed network of devices. In addition to direct suppliers in the network, DPENs like Render, which is focused on image rendering, and Filecoin, focused on storage, also supply their compute capacity to IONET in order to access monetization from AI and ML companies. So here I want to explain to you guys why do AI engineers need GPUs? Guys, AI training involves crunching massive amounts of data like showing a self-driving car millions of images. CPUs are great for single tasks, but GPUs excel at handling many calculations simultaneously. Imagine thousands of chefs prepping ingredients all at once. This parallel processing superpower of GPUs make them ideal for accelerating AI developments, fueling the current high demand. As AI models become more complex, the demand for computational power is expected to grow exponentially, underscoring the increasing importance of computing resources. Compute power is the primary bottleneck to AI process. The only way to become a first mover in AI or ML is to invest more heavily. Thus, the demand for high-end GPUs remains robust and is expected to intensify as competition among big tech firms continues. Consequently, the cost associated with these computational needs is steadily increasing. For many AI and ML enterprises that are GPU poor, this cost is a significant burden. So this is where IONET comes into the picture. Decentralized computing offers access to distributed GPU clusters at a fraction of the cost of centralized services, making it a cost-effective alternative. Compared to major players like Google Cloud, AWS, and Azure, decentralized infrastructure is over four times cheaper. So from here, you can see who can supply compute to IO.NET. 
I would say literally anyone. The majority of suppliers are data warehouses, but anyone can provide compute. Here from this list, you can see the list of qualified computer CPUs and GPUs. And by the way, guys, here from the IONET Explorer, you can see right now IONET has more than 166,000 verified GPUs and over 47,000 CPUs. And here from this network map, you can check supply insights and geo distribution. And if you go here on cluster tab, then you can see right now total networks earning is more than a million dollar. The total compute hours served is more than 850,000 and total clusters being created is more than 16,500. So all of the data is laid out here for you in a very transparent way. I really like this Ionet Explorer. So now let's take a look at the team, the VC founders, and who are the people behind this project. Toy Green is a CEO. He's got a lot of financial background. Okay, so you can check them out. There's a lot of good people on this team. The investor list is superb. You can see Solana Ventures, Six Man Ventures, HackVC, Multicoin Capital, OKX, Aptos Labs, Foresight Ventures, 7X, ArcStream, and everything. You can see almost all the huge players within Web3 you will see in this list. And their angels include Solana founder Anatoly Yakovenk, Aptos founders Mo Shaikh and Avery Cheng, Yatsuyu of Animoca Brands, and Sebastian Borget of Sandbox. So now, in terms of total amount raised, if they did raise over $40 million through Seed and Series A. Now, let's talk about their token. IO token is the native queen of the IO network. There is a fixed maximum supply of 800 million IO tokens. Their token went live on 11th of June on Binance and is now trading at $3.86 with $3.1 billion FDB. And here from the market tab, you can check out the exchanges on which IO token is available. So my initial thoughts on IONET is that it is a very unique service and it certainly stands out among its competitors. There are so many companies doing this, but IONET is a little bit different. They're doing something that nobody else is doing. They're also getting all the major partners on board. They've raised a decent amount of money and have huge funders behind them. They also have the armamentarium. They have the supplies, which a lot of other people do not have. So I think that this project will do well in the coming days. I'm going to watch it very, very carefully. So this was all about IONET. Make sure to check out this amazing project. As you know, guys, we only introduce reliable and trusted projects to you. We will post all the project related links to the video description. So go and check them out. Until next time, I'm signing off now. If you enjoyed the video and found something interesting, then do like this video and drop a comment to the comment section as well. Your feedback is very valuable to us.